Creating animation. Right now, I'm going to show you how to make an animation in Photoshop CS5. Now, as you can see here, you have a picture in front of you, which is not yet animated. Now, I'm going to make the word Photoshop gradually move to the left of the monitor. So first, under layer, I would have to select Photoshop, so I can click on it. Now. To make an animated picture, I will first go to Windows or Window on the top uh, toolbar and click on Animation. Now, as you can see on the bottom, you can see a number of frames that you wish to make. So right now, I have one frame. So to create a second frame, I would have to click Duplicate Selected Frames. Now, what this does is it copies, or rather, it duplicates this first frame or the frame that you selected in the exact same manner. So as you can see in under two frames you have the exact same location of Photoshop. It hasn't changed at all. So what you want to do is to create an animation on the second frame you want to move it just a little bit to the left and again duplicate it and move it to the left and so on now for an animation this size you might want to make around uh, eight or nine frames depending on how um, fluent you want your animation to be so it's very, mu very much like making cartoon now when you're done you want to play it simply click on play animation and there you go, you see uh, f the word Photoshop uh, flowing to the left over and over again in an endless loop. Now of course if you wanted to play just once you can simply go down to here under forever click on the arrow and you can select number of times you want to play it. Let it be once, three times or uh, in an endless loop. Of course you can also customize it by clicking this other and you can set the number of times you want it to play. There, all the tools regarding the plane of the animation are lit, are discussed in further detail in the book, so you may look into that. Now you probably noticed you can manage, or rather, you can alter the seconds that each frame is being played. What this means is if you like frame 5 to play longer than its normal 0 seconds, you can simply click here and select the number of seconds you want it to be played. For instance, I would select 2 and when I play it, this frame will be played for two seconds and so it will stay still for two seconds and of course what this also means is you can change each individual frame so if I want this to be five seconds and this to be 0 0.5 seconds it can also easily be done as you can see here now if you feel like you want it you want all the frames to be changed to the exact same uh, number of seconds but you don't feel like going individually for, to each one what you can do is by holding on to the uh, shift key on your keyboard you can easily select all the frames and change them all at once so let's say I wanted to change to 0 0.5 seconds for each frame and from one click you're done so now each frame will be state uh, will be played um, in 0 point, 0 0.5 seconds rather than 0 seconds and that's how you will create an animation